okay here's me again uh, doing a small tune up so what is the connection here so the out of my this uh, is going uh, this sound card is going to the input of my studio sound card and this sound card is connected over here in my laptop so whenever i induce a pink noise from my smart it's coming here via the usb and it's going out uh, from output 1 2 and for this because now i want a reference as a dry signal so the headphone out is coming into the input 2 of this as a loop back and one is connected to my rta so now if i switch on my uh, pink noise you will notice that and if i go to my spectrum manager so this is my dry signal uh, coming into my reference so it's dry so even if i do some eq here in the door for example this it won't affect my reference but if i look into my input section the mic so So whatever I do in the door, the mic will capture that. So whatever I do in the door, the mic will capture that because it's directly coming from this uh, as a loop back. So the reference is still dry. So I'll get a, I should get a pretty neat reference. So how I'll use it is like uh, I'll be creating a master EQ. So the master EQ will come in my stereo output of the master plugin. So that I can create a EQ according to my room so my studio monitor behaves accordingly. So I get a flatter response. So uh, let's see uh, what is the response right now that we are getting in my room. So if I go here, go to my transfer function, so this is the response and this is the EQ. So I am here actually concerned about the EQ. So at my sweet spot here, it is actually not that flat, so I cannot get a good mix. So let's do that. So the white is the PEQ, uh, so it was this. So again, it's a average. So these are all the references at different height and different proximity from the uh, monitors so this was pretty much how the white was uh, that's like how my room was actually and this is the average after eq again these are three references with proximity and different height in respect to my ears how i move along and this is the reference and you can see this is pretty much they are on point uh, I cannot help out with this node because this is constant in whatever readings I was taking you can see it's a constant thing so I cannot add anything over here but so I just left it it's okay uh, that month uh, of reference I can still make out so this is the EQ, pretty aggressive. So I was actually trying with the SSL strip and all uh, of waves, but those are very sensitive and uh, the logic EQ is very aggressive. So I hate it. Again, I love it also in regards of this situation because I wanted three number of band with the Q filter. So after this EQ, this is the pink one is my response so what i'll do is like i'll save it as my 
save channel strip setting i'll save it as my master eq for my this room so whenever i do my mix here so i'll just switch it on and when i bounce the track i'll just bypass it so that much uh, that will help me get a better response in this room at least hope you enjoyed it thank you